So let's talk about library databases. I want to quickly talk about three different databases and show you one that were really helpful in the research that I did for my dissertation, as well as for my papers and discussion questions. So when you come into the library database, select Find Journal Articles. And when you scroll down, you have options to search databases alphabetically. Okay. The first database that I spent a lot of time in was looking at dissertations. So there's two databases here. One is just Grand Canyon University dissertations, and the second is global. So you can access both of those just to get a sense for what other folks have done in their dissertations. Please note that in the global, these are master's level and doctoral level dissertations and thesis. So you'll want to um, filter out to doctoral level if that's what you need to look at. Okay. The second database that I love, I don't have access to it anymore as alumni, is Web of Science. You, fair warning, you can go down a rabbit trail, but what's great about Web of Science is you can go in, take the title of one of your articles that support your problem space, and you can search that title, and it will show you how many other articles have cited that particular research article, and then you can go and look at all of those articles that have cited it. It's a great way to do a little research on the history of a topic, but also to find additional research on a topic of interest and a problem space that you are interested in. So I highly recommend going in and taking a look at Web of Science. If you want some additional support in how to use it and how to search within it, reach out to the librarian at GCU or whatever university that you're at and have them walk, walk you through how you can use it. It's a great tool. Lastly, I spent a lot of time in SAGE research methods, especially when I was writing Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. It gave me a lot of information about certain concepts, but also provided uh, citable definitions that I could use in my dissertation. So let me show you what that looks like. When you come to the SAGE research methods database, You'll be able to click directly in if you want to learn about quantitative methods, learn about qualitative methods. You can click right in there, or you can just plug in a search term and look for something specific. I am going to just plug in the term assumptions, and it will pull up a number of different sources that you can look through. It will highlight where the word is mentioned in the text and give you a little bit of a preview. So you should be able to kind of quickly scan to see what you then want to click into. Okay, you can scroll down and see it highlights the word assumptions. I'm just going to click in here to give you a sense for what it looks like when you get into each of these uh, search results. It will give you a section. Sometimes it's one or two sentences that they pull from a Sage Encyclopedia. In other cases, it's a longer chapter or page of information okay so you can look down through here and figure out okay this is actually what i want to cite or a great reference that i can use you have the option to download the pdf to save it for future research or if you know that this is what you want to cite and you get your citation uh, paraphrase whatever they're saying you can pull the citation from right here and drop it into your reference list. Okay, so you can see this is Lewis Beck et al. 2004, and you're referencing a Sage Encyclopedia. Okay, so this tool is also fantastic for finding quick definitions, technical terms, and also understanding methods and how to do certain things, um, statistical procedures, uh, dealing with outliers, etc. So I hope this is helpful for you, gives you some ideas on where to go and where to get additional information, and good luck on getting to a successful dissertation.